I'd like to share with you a little bit about the toilet project I've been working on. For the last few years, I've built a number of these dry toilets that are often used in camper vans. And I think I'm becoming a toilet evangelist, if there is such a thing. Um, the simplicity of the dry toilet, it's a better version of composting toilet than uh, what was often used in the past, but also just the idea that um, it's, it's just so simple. I think that's probably the biggest thing that stands out. So as I've built different boxes, uh, I found that the 19 inches wide by 19 inches deep seems to work about fine. Um, I tried 19 by 17 and it wasn't big enough. 19 by 18 is kind of okay, but I think the 19 by 19 is about right. So that's the exterior uh, dimensions. Um, this first last project that I'm working on, I also have, I'm using MDO plywood which has a, a surface that's already basically waterproof. So when, when you add two or three coats of paint, makes it a good waterproof structure for your, for your toilet. And so to build the whole box and then, <clears throat> and then cut off the top portion for the lid uh, seems to work pretty well. Uh, I'm using uh, like stainless steel latches and then I also have upgraded and I'm using the Rockler torsion hinges, which are, they're kind of expensive. They're about $30 each, but they make a really nice lid that you can then hold at different positions. And something like a toilet, you don't want that slamming down on people. And so uh, I think it's just a nice uh, addition and they work really well on three-quarter inch stock, so I decided to build this box out of three-quarter. Uh, I've done another one at, with a half inch, and I think, I think it works fine to use three-quarter. And then the, uh, the top section, so this, this is a base that's inserted, and you can see how the underside of this, uh, it's a urine-diverting apparatus. Uh, the kind that I've been using is from a company called Kildwick in, out of Germany, so kildwick.com, K-I-L-D-W-I-C-K. I'll have links in the comment section. Um, makes, I think, the best parts for these types of toilets. Uh, typically they are, uh, it's about $100 and some for the parts. There's the, the solids container, uh, which is in the back section and it's not too large in order for uh, everything that you're doing. And then what's unique about the Kildwick setup is that they made a much bigger urine container. And so the urine container is, it's a two gallon. I don't know how many liters that is, but anyway, it's basically a two gallon. And that works out well in the sense that a typical couple um, produce about about, two, about a gallon of each a day. So if you'd make sure you're dumping it once a day, then, then you should be fine. Um, what's nice about this size is it's not too big, so then you can, you can seal it and then carry it wherever you need to dump. And so it's, uh, it's not too heavy. And, uh, and then in addition to that, it's helpful to know about where you are in terms of the filling up of the tank. And so I added this slit on the front, which <clears throat> works pretty well. You actually can see the level of the liquids inside, but this, um, as I go to install this, I'm actually gonna add a light inside that then you, it will illuminate and you can see how much is there. Um, this, uh, this top piece, uh, I'm glad I went with the three quarter. It just makes for a really good base. And then you put I put like one and a quarter inch trim section all the way around so it's got a good solid uh, surface to land to. And then uh, you just go to your hardware store and find, uh, I've I found the, there, it's a molded wooden, it's basically wood chips and glue, uh, toilet seat that has a perfectly flat bottom on it, then works well so to sandwich this urine diverting apparatus in between the level of this and the toilet itself. And then it has these uh, four 
stainless steel screws that hold everything in place. So it sandwiches together. Then creates something that is easy to clean, but also um, I got in the way. So, so there's the, the basic toilet. Uh, I added uh, foam insulation on the edge as well as across the top to help seal. Uh, then I'll add a, a very quiet computer fan. It's probably like the quietest fan on the planet. It'll go inside and there will be a hole drilled straight through the floor of the van that will vent out and so it'll always be constantly sucking air through. These types of toilets actually don't smell hardly at all because it's a urine diverting toilet. Um, and then when you're done, you put a, you put a bag in for the solids, a plastic bag, and then dump it, you know, every, every few days, whatever seems to be appropriate. And, uh, but overall they're, they're so simple and they don't smell and they're super easy to clean up at the end is, um, probably the huge advantage over a typical uh, wet uh, toilet system, plumbing system. Thank you.